Hi guys, it's Andy from Man City Fan TV. Well, I'm back home for a couple of days. Uh, it's great to be back in uh, in the UK after a, a week in uh, in Baku in Azerbaijan. It was absolutely amazing, beautiful, beautiful city. I had a wonderful time there. Uh, if anybody is thinking of going somewhere different you know, for a holiday, it's about five and a half hours from Manchester, about five hours from London. Um, and it's just, yeah, the exchange rate is amazing. It's, it's like 2.2 manats um, to the pound. So the exchange rate is really, really good. And it's just the most incredibly beautiful city. Got everything, restaurants, bars, clubs, you know, beautiful things to see. Um, just the country is just amazing. I'm definitely going to try and go out there uh, and have at least four or five days uh, wandering around uh, as a bit of a break rather than being there for work. But anyway, on to the breaking news that's just come out. Um, it looks like, according to, we look here, Sky Sports uh, News, uh, just over the last uh, 30 minutes or so, that uh, Raheem Sterling's representatives um, have been in talks with Cheeky and they've confirmed, or at least... Uh, what they think they've confirmed is the fact that Raheem Sterling has signed a new contract uh, until 2023, um, which is absolutely incredible news for us as Blues. Um, it says here his, ex, uh, his previous um, contract was due to expire in 18 months, as we all know, but he'll now be tied to Manchester City until 2023. Uh, as we know, Sterling signed from Liverpool uh, back in 2015 for 49 million pounds uh, there's no we don't know how much it's going to be and do we really care it is it's irrelevant because at the end of the day we've had lots of you know crappy journalists writing all sorts of nonsense about him at the end of the day this kid is one of the best players at manchester uh, man city statistically so you know he deserves to be up there maybe not on a par but up there with the best play, paid players at Man City and, and only right so his agent and uh, he's looking out for him and uh, I don't care what they pay him if they pay him 250 300 000 pound a week so be it it's no difference to us so I think it's brilliant brilliant news and when you look at his stats just looking at a few of them here so far scored 48 goals in 151 appearances uh, for City since joining uh, that is for what is in effect a, a, a wide player, a winger, um, is fantastic stats. And you only have to look at last season's um, statistics. I mean, he was absolutely incredible. I think this season so far, he's had eight starts, four goals. Uh, just need to have a look. Three, yeah, three assists already. Um, and we're only 10 games into the Premier League season. So I think it's absolutely, um, it, it's incredible news for uh, Manchester City uh, and for us as fans because at the end of the day, we don't want to lose him for 100 million uh, to a you know, room at Real Madrid or whoever. Uh, because if you think about it, to replace somebody who last season scored, what, 20 odd goals and assists? How much are we going to have to pay to get that back into the team? So it's okay saying, you know, oh, we'll just get rid of him, get hundred million, and this for hundred million pounds this as it stands right now, this season, who would come in and replace him? Uh, it's madness. So I think it's wonderful news, uh, and uh, yeah, we've got another sort of four and a half, five years of Raheem Sterling at Manchester City. So anyway, guys, uh, I just thought I'd bring you this breaking news. There is um, there is some other things I want to talk about. One is uh, don't forget uh, that on the 9th of November, uh, there's still tickets available for the David White. Uh, the Save Association Big uh, City Quiz Night that's going to be held in the 235 Casino on Watson Street in Manchester. Um, tickets can be purchased as a, a group of six. Uh, that's what the teams, the quiz teams are going to be. However, if you can't um, make it a team of six, then don't worry about it. Tickets are available. Uh, it's £15 per person. Um, all you have to do is get in touch with uh, David White uh, at, um, at the Save Association or Mark McCarthy on Twitter 
or using the email address which is either david at saveassociation.com or mark at saveassociation.com or you can contact either on Twitter or send us a message and uh, we'll put you in touch with them. So uh, it's going to be a brilliant event. Uh, we're going to be there filming. Loads of prizes on offer. Um, a Q&A with David White. Uh, there'll be other players there. So uh, please go along, support an absolutely wonderful charity. Um, safeguarding in the community after everything that's happened and they're doing wonderful work and need the support of fellow blues so please guys um, if you're free on that friday night go along it uh, starts around about seven ish and it'll run through till around about half past ten eleven o'clock um, your ticket will give you free access to the um, casino afterwards so yeah all you have to do is pre-register when you get your ticket uh, and you'll get free access to the 235 Casino as well. Um, we'll be along chatting to fans, chatting to uh, the players. And uh, yeah, it should be an absolutely wonderful night. So anyway guys, this is Andy from Man City Fan TV. Just a quick update. Um, we'll, we've got the game tonight. Uh, Ray will be putting out uh, some videos. Well, he'll be sending me some videos. Unfortunately, I'm wrapped up with work because I go away um, Saturday early. I was Saturday morning back to Bulgaria for a week. Uh, get back just before the charity event so I've got loads of sort of admin work that I've got to do and I, I, I just time is running out so I can't get the game to the game tonight so uh, Ray will be sending me through the videos from the Etihad I'll be editing them and I'll be pushing them out on the website uh, all night so anyway guys enjoy the game tonight don't forget subscribe to the channel and this is Andy from Man City Fan TV and we'll see you soon